Hi guys, um, just got back from a trip to Warhammer World, uh, got a few unboxings to do. Essentially I, I got up there, um, went for a weekend of gaming, wasn't really 100% sure on what to uh, what to get as a couple of new toys. Um, ended up, uh, seeing as the day I got there, um, on Friday the new Mechanicum Red Book had come out for the Horus Heresy. Now as some of you might know, um, I currently don't play Heresy, so it's completely new to me. Thought I'd give it a shot. Friend of mine that I went with, um, one of the guys that paints with me, uh, also decided to get a Heresy Army as well. So he's gone Salamanders, um, and I've gone Mechanicum. I thought I'd try something different to um, to Marines. So I'm going to do a few unboxing videos. Uh, I, I bought up a whole army, so I'll go through the different units. Um, and, and do some unboxings on those. I, I got back last night, so some of these I haven't even looked at yet. Uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Um, first one we're going to start with, um, it'll be the first one that I grab out of the bag, um, a Castellax Battle Automata with a Dark Fire Cannon. Now, the good thing about these that it looks like to me there's not too many parts. Um, I expected a lot more of robots, um, but they're quite sort of solid. Um, now let's empty the bag out. Um, as standard, uh, get your get your little basic instruction booklet with all the parts that you should have. Um, all Forge World uh, items that you need to put together generally come with these now. Just gives you a brief, uh, this is what it should look like when it's done type thing. Uh, how to put together the hands. Just put that to one side. Now this is the cool stuff. So, let's put it all to one side. They come on a 60mm base. So, dreadnought size base. Now, Castellax, as I kind of understand, um, are they're one up from the line troopers, so they're they're not as big as a dreadnought, but they're they're along those lines. They're tough. They're 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 heavily armed. They're they're the they're the big sort of elite units that are going to do some serious damage. Now, put that to one side. You see, this is the body. If I bring that in a bit closer for you, it's the main sort of torso. Some really, really nice detail. I love the sort of these power plants that they've got on the back and the little sort of Space Marine exhaust hoses. Um, sort of shows that, yeah, these guys have been away from the human race for sort of millennia, but they're still, there's still things there that hark back to the stuff that they created after all the Mechanicum would have made the Space Marine armour. Um, next, you've got little feet. They're like little dreadnought feet, you get different ones um, so that you can pose them different. Uh, they pretty much all look the same to me, but one is very, very slightly, uh, if you can see there, one is very slightly sort of bent as if it's almost taken a step. So nice little details on those. Next part, um, some sort of arm mounted weapons. So again, I'll bring those in close. Arm-mounted weapons. You've got uh, a couple of bolters and a couple of flamers. So the same kind of loadouts that you get on a Dreadnought. Now, as far as I'm aware, they attach to the close combat weapons. A um, couple of little parts here. They must be something to do with the arms. Not 100% sure, because as I say, I haven't looked through the instructions or anything. They have got some pretty hard mold lines on here which are going to be a bit annoying to get rid of um, but it shouldn't be too bad and you've got the claws so the claws are amazing um, they're like uh, sort of um, loading claws that you, you get on sort of in warehouses and things like that um, hark back a little bit to the power loader from Alien um, which is quite cool and then you've got a little servo skull and you've got um, what looks to be some sort of power plant, power pack there. Uh, the, these are the torso and groin parts, which are really nice. So if I bring that in, get that to focus in for you. The groin there has a really nice Mechanicum symbol on, really highly detailed. 
I mean, these items, I mean, to be honest, what, what you pay for them, you'd expect to actually pay quite a bit more for the amount of detail. It's like every single one is from the character series. A um, couple of just armor plates. Got uh, some tubing. Um, this is obviously to go to the shoulder gun, shoulder mounted gun, which is so cool that they all have the big sort of predator shoulder mounted guns. Okay. Um, and we've got um, some legs. So two legs. I think these are the, the sort of the whole legs actually. Um, sort of the shin part up to the hip. So again, quite cool. They are very fiddly though. I mean, they're, they're thin sort of pistons holding them together. I can imagine they might be quite um, delicate. Then we've got um, these parts which look to me to be probably um, part of the arms. Not 100% sure again, but um, I'm sure someone will correct me, someone will fill me in. Um, and then main part, the dark fire cannon now, it's got a slight warping to it, but nothing that you won't be able to fix with a bit of hot water or a hairdryer. Um, that is a beast of a gun, I mean if you look at the, the the torso and the size of this gun compared to the torso, that's a beast of a gun. So, that is the Castellax. Um, Join us in the next video. We'll see what we get out of the out of the bag next. Um, I have actually got um, three of these, so they'll be uh, they'll actually be played as single units rather than in a in a unit of three. They're going to be all individual. Um, and yeah, wait and wait and see what they come out like. I will be doing some painting videos on these, but at the moment we're just unboxing. So next video, guys, we'll see what comes out of the bag. Uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.